For Excel exercise 14, you're going to need to open the file called SS14 that's located on the computer's S drive. If you're not sure where the S drive is located, please talk to your teacher or ask one of your classmates to show you how to find and open this file. Okay? When you open SS14, you'll notice that this workbook is actually made up of one, two, three different sheets. And each sheet has different values and different months. Now, for this exercise, we're going to learn how to group and enter text. So I'd like you to click Sheet 1, the Sheet 1 tab on the bottom. Once you've clicked Sheet 1, I'd like you to click and press the shift key on your keyboard. The shift key is near the bottom left or bottom right of your keyboard. Okay, so click Sheet 1, press and hold down the shift key, then using your mouse, click left click Sheet 3, and you'll notice that after you do that, the word group appears on the top in the title bar. Okay, I'll repeat this. To group a sheet, click Sheet 1, then press and hold down the Shift key, then click Sheet 3, and the word group should appear. Okay, once you've done that, in cell A10, click cell A10 and type the word totals. Okay, and if necessary, you can bold it. Okay. Now, what have we accomplished? Well, we've typed the word totals in sheet 1 in cell A10, but if you click sheet 2, you'll notice that the word totals appears in cell A10 of sheet 2 and in cell A10 of sheet 3. Okay? So, by grouping a sheet and typing in one sheet, whatever you type in one sheet will appear in all the other sheets as long as the sheets are grouped together. Now you'll notice that by clicking the individual sheets that has cancelled the grouping function. So uh, I'd like you to click sheet 1 and press shift, hold the shift key down, click sheet 3 and that regroups the three sheets. Now for the second part I'd like you to click B10 and drag and select to E10 while the sheets are grouped. Now click the auto sum button and you'll notice that that sums up the columns. January is added up, February is added up, March is added up, and quarter one is added up. But because we grouped the sheets before we auto summed, if you click sheet two, you'll see that the auto sum has been applied to sheet 2 and sheet 3. Okay? But because I've been clicking these different tabs, that's cancelled the grouping function. So um, I'd like you to click sheet 1, press shift and hold it, click sheet 3 again to group it one last time, and click in cell A1, Pet Paradise, Pet Food and Supplies, click B to bold it while the sheets are grouped, and let's see if, if that has applied bold to all the sheets. And you can tell here that, again, when the sheets were grouped, the bold applied to every single sheet. Okay. Uh, now that we're finished this assignment, if you want, you can resave it. Save it as SS14, but make sure that you save it in your removable disk and click save and that will save a copy onto your USB drive. Okay, you're now finished Excel exercise 14.